This is amazing. Have a look. This is Apparition P uh, Hill. All the people going down. You see the lights, the chain of lights. There have been so many people up the hill for the apparition. I did a video before and I cut this in that you see how many lights there are right now. That means how many people are getting down the hill with the mobile phones on. This is very impressive. Very rare to see so many lights there. This is Apparition Hill and the people going down from the hill on this 1st of January 2024. And I was up there, you, are, you, you see the, the climb up there, I did the climb up there, I had to go down. I was so poor, wet, I would have got sick if I would have stayed. So I went back down, but I want to show you, you see the line here now, the people coming down Apparition Hill. This is so impressive to see. Rarely I saw that before, these amounts of lights and coming down the hill, look. There have been so many people up the hill today. You can check it out. I did a tour, bike tour to the Apparition Hill and then a walk up the hill, a climb up the hill. There you will see the people, the masses of people who went up. And now you see the mobile phones, the lights, the chain of light coming down Apparition Hill. Isn't that amazing to see? And people ask me, should we pray three hours? You know, important is to pray from the heart. That is the most important, you know? You don't have to pray by command. You pray from the heart, you know? And I also would say you live from the heart. You worship God honestly in truth and in spirit. God is spirit, God is love, so you worship God in truth authentically and lovingly you know the whole fight I saw it lately more and more is in our mind the fight that we stay in love we'd have lovely thoughts not bad thoughts about people yeah we all will have the temptation and the fight is in our mind you know we have we have a fallen nature we need Christ you know you can pray Jesus purify me in your blood and and Mary, put your mantle around me, especially in these times. It's so, so important because the spiritual fight is getting tougher and tougher. But you see the world is not lost. You see this amount of people like diamonds coming down Apparition Hill. Isn't that beautiful to see? So you pray from the heart. You pray the rosary. <coughs> Ask the Holy Spirit, what is your mission in the Catholic Church? You can be teaching. I did a video with, uh, with uh, Javier from Sevilla, Spain. He's catechizing like married couples with his wife, eight children. There's so many ways to serve in the Catholic Church. Don't be discouraged. Somebody said on Facebook, you don't leave the Catholic Church um, like Judas did because something went wrong. No, you stay, you fight, you change the Catholic Church from within. We are the lay people and we are the Catholic Church and we can change the face of the Catholic face of the Catholic Church and the faith in a positive way by giving example, by living the vestiges of Our Lady, the five stones and read the Bible and the teaching of Christ. The five stones are all a way to get closer to Christ, to win the spiritual battle which are going on heavenly, heavenly have in heaven and heavenly, have heavily, heavily. That's what I want to say. Sorry, my English. You know, when I come down the mountain, I'm a bit tired. But you see all these diamonds. These pilgrims are diamonds. They, they listen to the call of Our Lady and 
went to Apparition Hill in the rain, soaking wet. I was up there, you can see the video, and this is impressive. Look, all these people coming down, shining. These are the mobile phones, still all these people coming down from the hill now. And it is just beautiful to see, you know, how many people responded to the call of Our Lady to come to Medjugorje from afar. I met a guy who was standing next to me on the hill from South Korea. I saw so many cars from around here, from Chitluk, the next town, and from Bosnia-Herzegovina, from Croatia. And there are so many buses from Poland, Italy, Austria, all over. They, they come for New Year to be with Our Lady here in Medjugorje. And isn't it beautiful to see these diamonds, you know? So that is my answer to the prayer. Should we call, pray from three to five? If you feel called, pray, pray. If you have to, if the Holy Spirit tells you something else, you have to do something else. You know, that is very important to have this living relationship with Christ. That is the most important thing to be guided by the Holy Spirit. I urge you, let the Holy Spirit enter your heart and ask God. I want to live in the di divine will. Thy will be done in my life. And you will be amazed what, <coughs> what will happen to you. Yeah? This is the message of Medjugorje. The five stone and fiat. Li live in the divine will. Say yes to the will of God in, in your life. Yeah? I ask you, this is so important. You know? It's not about rituals. You know, that you pray because if I prayed five rosaries that I'm fine with God. No. Our Lady says, love. Live by the heart. Love. She says to the children, I am beautiful because I love and we should all love. And love is not coming out of obligation. Uh, obligation. Love is coming out of, out of a free will, out of a free heart. When you are in love with a person, it's not an obligation. You want to give presence. You want to be close to the person. And that's what we all should have, a loving relationship with Christ through the Holy Spirit, through the inspirations of the Holy Spirit. God, Jesus sent us the helper, the comforter. And he's always with us. We also have the guardian angels, you know. Let's welcome them again in our lives and thank them in this new year and in advance already that they are guarding us in this year 2024. And look at this brilliant diamond coming down the hill. This is for me so impressive and so beautiful to see how many people responded. And again, please, you don't have to do, have to do. This is not Catholic faith. Catholic faith. Jesus says, love God and love your neighbor. When you love God and when you love love, you love your neighbor because you're full of love. You understand? That is very important. And the good fight is that your heart stays clean and in love, that you don't get angry. If you get angry, say, Jesus, please, forgive. if I can't forgive, I say, Jesus, it's hard for me to forgive right now. Help me to forgive. You know? And then you have peace and joy again. It's about forgivingness. And go to confession also. We have this beautiful gift this beautiful sacrament, gift by Jesus. Go to confession and you will be freed. You will be happy and joyful again. It costs nothing. You don't have to go to a psychiatrist. Nothing. And have to pay a lot of money. Go to the Catholic priest. Pray for a good confession. And you will see beautiful things happening in your life. Liberation and joy and peace coming back into your heart. Just check again. We have ten commandments. Ten, ten commandments are not there to make our life bitter. No, the Ten Commandments are there to make our life joyful and to live in, in joy and in, how to say, in the fullness as Jesus wants for us. He wants for us that we have a life of joy and a life of fullness in the truth and in love. You know? And that's what I wish you for 2024, that you have this life of fullness of joy and peace in your heart. God bless you all from Metrogoy. And again, look at these diamonds coming down from Apparition Hill, from the Apparition today with Visionary Maria on Apparition Hill here in Metrogoy on this 1st of January 2024. God bless you all from Metrogoy. And just to give you a comparison, look, this is Apparition Hill now. You don't see these diamonds anymore. Oh, no? look at it. This is the normal lights on Apparition Hill. It's like a rosary, but the diamonds have been coming down. They have been at Holy Mass. I just talked to some of them. It was very exhausted, exhausting to go up in that rain. And you see how, how to say, how people are responding to the call of Our Lady here in Medjugorje. And it's a beautiful Catholic community where 
each one helps each other so that's what i wish for you that you have a beautiful community wherever you are around the world in 2024 where each one help helps each other and you start to be the change we have to be as lay people have to be the change for the catholic church for the good to show the beauty of our catholic faith god bless you all please pray for me as i pray for you